In the beginning, the Garia and the Warrior. On the main road from Canopia to Gundawindi on the New South Wales side of the Barwon River is a large sheet of water several miles long known as Boobra Lagoon. Some parts of this lagoon are very deep and according to legends at one place almost bottomless. In the depths dwells the Garia, a huge snake-like monster. He belongs to the Gavadin group and his wife is the daughter of the Bumble Tree of the Dilby group. The Garia burrows as he moves across the land and and as he moves, the waters flow behind him in troughs he creates, allowing him to remain beneath the waters. As he travels, many hollow channels around Boobra Lagoon, which are now dry except in the time of floods, were formed long, long ago by the Gutty Up. If any man ever went to that part of Boobra Lagoon to swim or sat on the bank fishing or paddle out in his canoe in pursuit of waterfowl, the gutty was sure to seize and devour him. Not being able to hunt there was a serious loss to the people as fish, mussels, ducks, swans and other animals abounded in the lagoon. Long ago, a headman named Dulala of Nuna on the Barwon, who was a great warrior, decided to kill the gutty and rid his people of the enemy. He stood on the southern bank of the lagoon, armed with the best of his weapons, and watched as the Gutia, and watched for the Gutia, sorry. When a giant snake saw him, he immediately swam towards him. Although Delala then threw several spears and clubs with all his force, they had little, they had no effect, and he had soon used all his weapons. He was forced to turn and flee across the plain. The Gutia gave chase, forming a channel in his usual manner winding about like a huge snake and travelling at a great pace. He was gaining rapidly on Talala, who was running for his life. But just as he was tiring, he saw a bumble tree growing on the edge of the plain. He made a final effort to reach it. Because it was the mother-in-law of the Gadiya, he knew he would not dare approach it. When the Gadiya saw that Tulala had reached the bumble tree, he stopped suddenly and digging a small water hole in which he could turn his body around, he returned to the lagoon along the channel he had made.